in this lecture we are going to discuss examples of those substances which depends only on filtration those substances which depends on filtration as well as partial reabsorption substances which depends on filtration and complete reabsorption and substances which depends on filtration plus secretion in our last two lectures we discussed that urine filtration urine formation urine formation basically begins when blood is filtered at the glomerulus and afferent arterioles bring the blood into the bowman's capsule and it divides into glomerulus which is a bunch of capillaries and where the blood is filtered the filtrate the fluid enters the bowman's capsule and then it moves through the tubules of the nephron there are thousands of thousands of nephrons in the each kidney and they are doing the same function once the filtrate has started movement in the tubule some substances are uh, reabsorbed into the peritubular capillaries and some substances are secreted from the peritubular capillaries into the tubule and some substances are neither reabsorbed nor secreted so we are just going to discuss those examples those substances which depends on filtration reabsorption and secretion we discussed previously that if a substance is only filtrated filtration is occurring at the glomerulus in the bowman's capsule but reabsorption or secretion is not occurring then its urine excretion rate will be equal to its filtration rate and examples of those substances include urea creatinine uric acid and urates these substances they once filtered at the bowman's capsule are neither reabsorbed nor secreted into the renal tubules and their field their urine excretion rate basically depends on their filtration these substances urea creatinine uric acid urates are basically the end metabolic products they are not needed in the body so they are excreted out of the body in the form of urine now there are some substances which are sometimes needed in the body and sometimes their amount is very large so they must be excreted so basically their the, the their quantity in the body depends upon their need those substances include sodium chloride and bicarbonate these substances are reabsorbed up to a large extent extent but some component of sodium chloride and bicarbonate may be excreted in the urine as well now it depends upon the need of the body for the sodium chloride or bicarbonate if the need is high if the body is needing large amount of sodium then the excretion then the excretion or reabsorption will be less but if the need is less then the reabsorption will be less so there excretion their urine excretion rate not only depends on the filtration but it also depends upon the reabsorption they these substances are filtered these substances are filtered but a large portion of these substances the sodium chloride and bicarbonate are reabsorbed they are reabsorbed from the renal tubule into the peritubular capillaries so their urine excretion rate is basically their filtration minus a reabsorption filtration minus reabsorption because a large portion is filtered here but some portion is reabsorbed so Uh, subtracting the reabsorbed portion from the filtrated portion will give us the urine excretion rate of these substances now there are some substances which are very much useful in the body and they are completely reabsorbed for example amino acids and glucose now here we are basically considering few examples of every category but there are a lot of other substances we will uh, slowly and gradually discuss them as we are going ahead in the uh, chapter so amino acids and glucose they are filtered but they are completely reabsorbed from the renal tubules into the peritubular capillaries because they are very much useful now these uh, these uh, filtration reabsorption the partial reabsorption and complete reabsorption these uh, uh, these functions are normal these are normal if there is an abnormality if there is an abnormality or pathology or due to some disease then these functions may be disrupted for example if there is diabetes mellitus then even glucose may be coming in the urine the patients of diabetes may be having glucose in their urine so we are talking about normal condition a normal human being in in normal human being amino acids and glucose may be filtered but it is completely reabsorbed in normal people now some substances basically depends some substances depends uh, for their excretion not only on their filtration but also their secretion so examples are drugs uh, potassium and hydrogen ions now they are not only filtered at this point into the bowman's capsule but they are also secreted from the peritubular capillaries into the nephron tubules so their urine excretion rate will be filtration plus secretion rate so drugs potassium hydrogen and some other substances may not only be filtered but they are also secreted from the peritubular capillaries into the tubules so as we previously discussed that the urine excretion rate of every substance is dependent upon whether it is reabsorbed or not whether it is secreted or not and whether its filtration is high or not so the urea creatinine uric acid and urates they are only filtered they are they are removed out of the body because they are the end products they are no more needed and they are not neither reabsorbed nor secreted into the tubules 
Sodium chloride and bicarbonate, depending upon their level in the body, they may be reabsorbed in large amount or less amount. If the requirement of the body is high, large amount of these substances may be reabsorbed, and a large uh, component uh, and small component may appear in the urine. But if but if the uh, there is no requirement of the body or the requirement of the body is less, then a large component of these substances may appear in urine and reabsorption may be partial. And amino acid and glucose usually in a normal person are completely, they are filtered, but they are completely reabsorbed into the peritubular capillaries. Now, why they are filtered here? The question is, why they are filtered here if they are going to be reabsorbed? Why in first place they got filtered? So we are going to answer the question in our coming lectures. And finally, the secreted substances may include drugs, potassium, hydrogen, to mention a few. There are a lot of other substances as well. They are not only filtered, but they are also secreted and their urine excretion rate is basically filtration plus secretion rate. That's all about the examples of substances dependent upon uh, the filtration, reabsorption and secretion for their excretion purpose. Thanks a lot for watching the video.